Hello once again watchers of good movies, my name is Nick Pell and this is my review of Uncut Gems. Now this film focuses on a character played by Adam Sandler, he is this owner of a jewelry store and someone who likes to place large bets on essentially the outcomes of uh, sports games, in this particular case, basketball. When he ends up obtaining a rock from a country in Africa uh, that he believes to be worth over a million dollars potentially, uh, he starts to place very large bets on thinkingly, and uh, cuts him into a bunch of trouble and you see his life kind of slowly start to collapse beneath him um, as he's trying to kind of put it all back together and make everybody happy. If you've heard anything about this film, it's probably that Adam Sandler gives a really good performance and I have to agree. He, this is, I haven't seen him in a lot of drama-esque roles or serious roles like this. He still has some comedic elements and charm to him, but for the most part he plays a very serious character and very different from anything that I've seen him in. Uh, previous to this film and so I thought he did a really good job kind of captured this guy who uh, Just has a certain personality a certain flair to him where he's trying to get people to like him But at the same time comes off as kind of annoying and while well, Adam Sandler did a good job Doing this role. I didn't really like his character that much to be honest because he's just kind of an asshole the whole time He's kind of an idiot um, and so uh, it was really hard to root for him by the end of the film because of just how annoying and how idiotic this guy can be sometimes um, and just how much of an asshole he is in general. Uh, just maybe not really like his character that much. The last 20 minutes is also probably the best part of the film in my opinion because that's just kind of where all the tension thus far has been leading up to and so you just aren't really particularly sure what the outcome is going to be and it has kind of this twist ending to it which I, I particularly enjoyed. Um, Kevin Garnett is also in the film. Uh, he's an NBA player if you're somehow not familiar. Um, and I guess he can act, which shocked me because he actually seemed really decent in the role um, because he plays himself. Uh, but he has like actual scenes with uh, Adam Sandler's character and other characters throughout the film. And I thought that he did a good job, ultimately. I, I didn't really expect him to do that well or have that big of a role overall. But yeah, he did good for what he had, so props to him. The plot in general though, I didn't really find that much interesting. I was kind of bored throughout the, mo the majority of the film, to be quite honest, because a lot of it is focused around the MacGuffin of this gem, which is out of Adam Sandler's possession for the majority of the film. He's trying to get it back, uh, and uh, it's just him kind of placing bets here and there, trying to deal with certain people to get the gem back, dealing with people who are pissed that he doesn't have their money, and it's just, eh, it just it takes a long time for anything to really build up um, and get all that super interesting um, and throughout the course of the film we see him being an asshole to his family being an asshole uh, to a girl that he's sleeping with um, he just he, I like I said earlier it's really tough to root for him personally um, and I think because of that partly um, I just didn't really enjoy the film as much as a lot of other people seem to be um, because it was just kind of boring for me and that's all I really have to say about the film um, the the plot is just kind of boring Am Sally does a really good job Kevin Garnett is kind of a shockingly good actor apparently um, and The Last 20 Minutes is actually really quite entertaining and quite good as a finale for this film but the majority of it is just not that interesting to me personally so eh, I'd say check it out if you're interested you might find a lot more enjoyment in it than I did uh, but I think it's good not quite as good as everyone else is kind of hyping it up for but those are my thoughts on Uncut Gems let me know yours in the comments down below did you like it as much as I did you hate it more than I did let me know like fair comment and subscribe once again if you so choose I appreciate it immensely uh, let me know also what your favorite Am Sandler role is as well uh, I'd be curious about that as always my people my name is Nick Pell and once again keep on watching